Hello and welcome to another whiskey review with me, the Whiskey Novice. It's good to be back and I'm going to start this uh, episode with an apology. What am I apologising for? Well, when I before I started this series, A Baker's Dozen, looking at uh, 13, 12 year old Scottish single malts, I put out a short video to my patrons and in that video was a list of the, the 13 whiskies which I would be reviewing during this series. And in this one, review number 47, episode 7 of the series, I should have been reviewing Highland Park 12 year old. That was what was on that list. As you can see, this ain't Highland Park 12 year old. No, it ain't. Why? Well, it's not because I didn't want to review Highland Park 12 year old. And at some point, not in this series probably. Now, I will record a review for Highland Park 12 year old. Of course I will, I don't have an issue with that. There's a reason why I've, I've sort of did a bit of a switcheroo and put this one into the, into the mix. And that reason is, a few weeks back, Alan, the whiskey friend who I shared the love with an episode or two ago, put out a video of 10 whiskies around the £50 mark. And in that video, he said this. First one on the list today, folks, is Lock Loman 12. Absolutely fantastic stuff. Um, Looking back, guys, I can't believe that I haven't reviewed this. Uh, I've, I've checked out, and I think every YouTuber on the planet has reviewed this one except me. So, <laughs> I felt that for the crack, I would be one of those YouTubers and jump in there and, and get a review in for this before Alan did. Just for the crack. I'm, I'm literally doing this for the fun of it. Alan, as I've said before, great man. And I have a lot of time for him. So I just thought, as I said, for the crack, I would throw this one into the mix. Because it is, it's it's a good, it's a very, very good representative of 12-year-old of Scotch single malt. So there you go. That's why I'm doing it. As I said, episode 7, review number 47 with the Whiskey Novice. And it is... Loch Lomond, 12 year old, owned by the Loch Lomond Group, the distillery is, who also own uh, Glen Scotia, they own Little Mill, Inchmoan, Inchmoan, etc. They own a few. This is a bit of a rarity, this distillery, because not only do they produce malt whiskey, but they have the, the, they have the capability of producing grain whiskey. So they, they're very, very much in house. A bit of a rarity that there's not too many others do it. And this one in itself, is matured in bourbon refill and recharred casks. It is bottled 46%. It is non-chill filtered. They I couldn't find record or any mention of colour, so therefore we assume that there's colour added. There you have it. It's been poured a while as we like it. What I think of it. Well, here we go. Massive, huge fruit filled, fruit burst nose. The first thing that hits you. It's just whoa, oh, fruity, fruity, fruity. Fruit and malt, barley sugar. At 46%, this plays incredibly well. It doesn't beat you around. You know, yet again, you're right in the way to the house there, aren't you? At 46%. Sometimes that alcohol can just come out and beat you up a bit. 
this one doesn't it's it's nice it's settled it's it's there but it ain't beating you about fresh pear fresh peach so you're looking at juicy fleshy fruit but step back give this time let it settle and you return to vanilla and the ch the, the, that charred oak is there as well it's gentle soft subtle but it's there that's a good start isn't it you know that that those are all good things and it's it's also fat it's it, you know it's not watery and thin under the palate Bittersweet delivery. The alcohol. Yeah, the alcohol nip is there now. It's at 46%. It's not, it's not beating you about, but that alcohol comes very, very quickly then. And that barley sugar that I mentioned earlier is there as well. And the malt. And with it. Honey. Creamy, creamy fudge. It's almost like a, a fudge liqueur, if that's a thing. Mm. Vanilla sponge cake the fruit is still there now picking up apple almost like an apple strudel because there is a very very that there's a, an almost cinnamony hit off it I'm even getting Slightly numbing. There's a name for it. Somebody mentioned it. I can't remember what it is. It does do a numbing thing on you, like, but not. It's not actually numbing. Obviously, this isn't anaesthetic. This isn't doing that. But it's the same sensation, if you can imagine, that brandy balls give you. We almost get a numbing sensation on your tongue. It's not anaesthetic, but it's just a sensation. It's there because there is a sweet, hard boiled, sweet thing about it. I like this because it's quite complex. On the facade of it, it's not, and it's a prime example of a whiskey. And I'm going to, before I get into the finish, I'm going to say something. This channel, I mean, I, I do the whiskey novice, novice, remember that name because I am a novice and I, I imagine as much as those of us out there, even those who have been in there for a long time, there's a certain amount of novice in there for the simple fact that you're always learning is the way I look at it. So you're always a novice. And that's why, you know, I, I'm quite happy to carry that name. But as much as, as I know a lot of you come back or a lot of returning subscribers, very very much appreciate it are well versed in, in the ways of whiskey I like to think that, that there are use of you those of you who come along who are new to your journey who are just taking your first steps and there's things to remember so this is why every now and again I like to throw in things to remember in the way that you don't judge a book by its cover do not judge a whiskey by its neck pour from here you know your first pour this is getting well down below the shoulder now and this whiskey just gets better with time, with air, let it open up. I'm gonna add some water to this in a moment. Do that, give it the opportunity it deserves. 
this is one of those whiskies on an initial pass on a neck pour is a little tight it's a little it just doesn't do an awful lot this is now opening blossom and, and becoming a great whiskey and it is a great for a 12 year old whiskey it's got a lot going on so back to the finish medium to long growing it goes a little dry after a while but there's a citrus thing as well so that it is dry and citrusy but it's it's uh, it's not bad it's inoffensive as I said I will add a little water quite happily let's see what happens and I already have an idea what happens here. Yeah, the fruit, the fruit is still there with the addition of the water. The fruit actually comes back because, as I said earlier, when you step away from it and you give this a little time, the fruit tends to, to tone down a little and the vanilla comes up. But that addition of water brings the fruit back But it comes back better balanced because the fruit and the vanilla start to play together. More creamy, hints of orange now. The orange coming into it. And uh, unfortunately, at just right at the very end, hint of nail varnish. Palette remains good, doesn't change an awful lot. Finish, finish gets a little peppery, no bad thing. It's quite hot, yet again, not in a bad way. Now, I'm going to compare it again. Comparison, uh, I, I struggled with this because I wanted something Yet again, I always look for a comparison, alternative, something that's cheaper. That, you know, now Alan, when I mentioned him earlier on, was talking about whiskies around £50, the, series, or the episode that, that, that he was chatting about it. I picked this up for £29. It was a very, very good price, but it does seem to range from £30 to £50. There's quite a big swing on this one. I'm going <laughs> to try this for the crack. I have no idea. Naked Grouse. Obviously from the same, obviously from Famous Grouse. This is a, a, a blended malt. A, it's slightly further up the range. But, but one that I like and one that's very, very well priced in my opinion. So, let's go with the Loch Lomond first. As I said, I have no idea. Literally sort of picked this out. Not at random, but just a little from memory. Got lemon. Mm. Fruity. Yep. Nice. Deep. Rich. There is. There's. There is. There, I, I believe there's peat involved in this. Yeah. But it's, it's it's very very subtle, incredibly subtle. Mm, there's a slight rubbery note off this now, and it's yet again. Even if you're not getting the same thing, it's not a bad idea just to compare them because on the front of it, just on the nose, if you open the top of a ball, open the top of this ball put your nose to it, they would probably smell fairly similar. Put them in a glass, try them side by side, and you learn things. Why not? Do it for the crack, if no other reason. Yeah, there's a, there's a, a synthetic note off this, uh, slightly rubbery, which 
had you went with this prior to this, I probably wouldn't have noticed. Ball to 40%. Still not a bad dram. Subtle, soft. There are hints of the same thing with the fruit, the vanilla. And this just brings more to the table. The fruit's fresher, it's it's more balanced. Obviously the ABV is higher, so it brings more to the table. As I said, the naked grouse, not bad, but definitely, 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 you can smell now. This here helps, this naked grouse helps you smell charred cask here. It helps you smell peat influence. So whether it be a good comparison or not, it's still just a good place to go at. Now I know what is different here. As an entry blend, I would recommend this. As an alternative to this, no. As an alternative to the Glen Scotia, or to the, Scotia, the Loch Lomond, no, not really. So I, I, I've, I've failed there on that comparison or alternative. They don't really feel like each other. No bad thing. This. If you can get it down to that £30 mark, brilliant. 35 to 40, yeah, not bad. Closer to 50, no, not for me. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go that far. It's good, but I wouldn't go, I wouldn't say it was worth 50 pounds, put it like that. But still a very good whiskey. There you go. So I'm gonna call that a day. Why not? That's that's pretty much I've said. Pretty much all I have to say about that. The more you return to this, the better it gets. The more fruity it gets. The you know it, it brings more. But just as I said, keep it down at price, and then and then it's good. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much for joining me once again. Thank you very very much to my patrons. If you want to join that Patreon group, the details are below i'm going to be back very very soon and i hope to see you then again here's to your good health cheers hey thanks for watching my video please click and subscribe to be notified of further content